I get uh, adequate food, and adequate clothing, and medical care when I require it. How do you think about uh, the... Uh, but On July 18, 1965, U.S. Navy Commander Jeremiah A. Denton, Jr. led an air attack on a military installation in North Vietnam. During the mission, his aircraft was shot down, leading to his capture by North Vietnamese forces. This marked the beginning of a grueling period as a prisoner of war, lasting seven years and seven months. Throughout his captivity, Denton endured severe mistreatment, including years of solitary confinement and brutal physical and psychological abuse. Despite these hardships, he demonstrated extraordinary resilience and fortitude. One of the most notable moments of his imprisonment occurred during a televised interview arranged by his captors. In a subtle act of defiance and courage, Denton blinked the word torture in Morse code, alerting U.S. intelligence to the harsh conditions faced by American POWs in North Vietnam. Denton's ability to survive such an ordeal is a testament to his unwavering spirit and commitment to his country. His experiences highlight the profound sacrifices made by prisoners of war and the extreme conditions they endured. After his release in 1973, Denton continued to serve his country, eventually being promoted to the rank of Rear Admiral and later serving as a U.S. Senator from Alabama. Jeremiah Denton's story is a powerful reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity and the enduring impact of his bravery on the collective memory of military history.